morning you lot welcome to monday hope you're all okay it's bank holiday monday today um <coughs> sorry we're just getting ready now to go to the tip with all that crap and then we're gonna nip to stratford because i've got to pick some jeans up and then i've got a bit of just a work day really we're just gonna potter have a nice chill do some slow roasted pork and then i'm gonna go to lizzie's later and see her for a couple of hours because we've been separated for about five days and it feels like hell <laughs> so we're gonna do that and then yeah that's it it's it's just literally not stopped raining the entire weekend so i wanted to shoot some bits and bobs for my blog but i just can't so i'm doing some indoor stuff and then i'm just gonna have to pray that the rain stops it's just awful <laughs> um, but i hope you're all all right and i'll catch up with you as the day goes on We made it to the tip. It's open, thank God. Neither of us are feeling very peachy today, are we, James? <laughs> I think it's a two-day hangover, do you? That's not really and your rib. James, I told you all that James had cracked his rib. We reckon it's broken. We needed to go and get an x-ray properly, but it's like hanging away from his chest wall, which is great, isn't it? Oh, it's right. Oh, bless you. <laughs> Just been to the Westfield Stratford on a cold day. Look at James' side eye, it's literally ridiculous. It was absolutely good. Because you're in there today, then I'll have to do it. I don't know, it's horrendous. That's so bad. Hello everyone, welcome to Tuesday. I hope you're all okay and you're having a nice day back at work and stuff. Um, <coughs> I have this morning, what have I done? Been to town proper early this morning. Oh my God, I went to spa. Um, I had a meeting, a really nice one. Then went for lunch with a friend, Rachel, and I've just come back. I've just um I need to go to the post office got changed into my working out gig because i'm gonna go to pilates in like an hour or so but i need to go to the post office to post stuff and then go to the other post office to collect stuff that i've missed and then hopefully i'll be home for like five half five i've got delivery coming and then i've got a blog post to write and then i can actually like relax for an hour and then make some tea or something. I'm well tired today. I shouldn't be either because it's been the bloody bank holiday and I've like had the nicest time off but I couldn't sleep last night because I had such a sore throat and it's still the same today. Um, so I was working until about 2.30am this morning, stupid. But it got me to sleep, it, it was what I needed to do. You know when you're just lying in bed and you can't um, switch off so the best thing to do is to get out of bed and start again. So that was what was going on with me. Um, I also need to tell you nothing I don't think had a really nice day so far just busy I can't believe the time I need to get cracking um, but I, I probably won't catch up with you again today because it's gonna be boring I'm just gonna do some work look at sizes to-do list ridiculous so much on there I've not done one thing <sighs> anyway <laughs> sometimes to-do lists are more stressful than you think <laughs> good morning you lot it is Wednesday today and I hope you're all okay and feeling good and stuff. I'm fine, just got a massively sore throat and I came up period so that explains why I feel like shit. Um, <coughs> I <clears throat> feel really weird at the moment like, and I think it is just hormones because I'll be fine in a few days, I know I will. But like, the last two nights I've been up at 2.30am in the morning working because I just literally can't switch off and I... Um, I just feel really uninspired and like also panicked that I don't really know what I'm doing even though I do I just feel like I just feel really lost which is really strange with work not with like general life that's great and work is great I just feel I just feel really strange about it and I honestly think it's my hormones I'll be fine so last night I booked a massage I booked a hotel to go and shoot at to find some inspiration um I did some shopping to, to piece together some really nice summery outfits and spring outfits 
um, and stuff that I'm excited to shoot. I've got some trips coming up, so I just tried to write a list of everything that's positive and take steps to make myself feel better about stuff as well. Then, yeah, so today I'm having a bit of a self-care day. Um, I had an appointment this morning which was cancelled, so I was quite thankful for that because it means that I can look like this for the rest of the day. Um, I'm <coughs> just going to go and get my a mani-pedi, basically. My feet need doing desperately. You don't want to see them. And my nails haven't been done since pre-Miami, so about four weeks, and they're grim. So I need those doing as well. Just really cut the dead quick where I go as well. So I spend an hour there and then literally gonna come back and work all day from home. Literally put some music on, make some plans, edit some stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm quite excited to get stuck in. I've got loads to answer on email, which is good. And then I've got ballet at 6 p.m., which will sort me right out. So yeah, all good, just having a bit of a funny, funny couple of days, I think. Um, but it, it's all explained now that my period's happened, so it'll be fine. It's just annoying. Does everyone else get like this as well? Like just restless and anxious and tired all at once. And I'm like, what? I was fine two days ago. <laughs> but anyway, yes, I'll stop rambling at you now. And um, have a brilliant day and I'll catch up with you later on. Bye. Good morning, everyone. Um, it's Thursday today and I've just been to have my stitches out of my head. Thank God for that. And it didn't hurt either, which is good. Um, then, I'm not even looking for the blinds. Blinds? Blinds. Um, then, what am I doing? Then I've got a meeting this afternoon, which is exciting. Well, in like a couple of hours. Um, it's so gorgeous outside today, and I'm not seeing anyone today to be outside with. That's rubbish, isn't it? I've not any plans. I've got loads of work to do, which, ow, which is an indoor job, obviously. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to be cooped up in here all afternoon, to be honest. I'll take you with me later. Where I'm going for lunch for this meeting is a really gorgeous cafe in Malibu. So I think it's like 31 Below Cafe, it's called. So I'll take you along for that later. Um, have we got anything else to tell you? <gasps> Tomorrow's going to be a good day. Going to Brighton for the day with um, to, to visit Anna. Um, Anna Newton from the Anna Edit with Lily, Pebbles and Lizzie. So the four of us are going to have a day out in Brighton. Me and Lizzie have never been to Brighton before. So we're so excited. Getting a dead early train because Lily's getting a tattoo. She was like, I need more support. So we're going to do that. So tomorrow will be really fun. So I'll take the vlog with us. Um, so yeah, I'm just used to get my act together really. Decide what I'm wearing because the weather has thrown me all off. Can't wear knitwear. It's bloody boiling outside. All right, that's an overstatement. It's not boiling, but it's warm. Like a champ. So the four of us, I was going to say the three of us, but there's definitely four of us here, are in Brighton today. So uh, Anna always comes to London to see us all, don't you? I so, do, I love seeing you in London. But now it's your turn to come see me. So we hopped on a train this morning. Lily nearly landed us in Glasgow. <laughs> <laughs> so we're having a day in Brighton by the seaside and it's freezing. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can never promise good weather. I'm it's really nice. <laughs> Sizing it up, Alex. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah, I'm like, how am I gonna do that? <laughs> like we're proud parents. home from Brighton. I'm going to show you Lily's tattoo. So pretty. We just looked so up and she crazy. gasped and she was like, oh, can't believe how big it is. <laughs> I was quite scared by it still. <laughs> Hello you lot. I hope you're all okay and you've had a really nice day today. Um, <coughs> um, I hope you've all had a nice day. I've just literally said that but the cough literally threw me off so much. Look at the state of my face. I've got such a bad cold and my skin's breaking out. Everything Everything that could go wrong has gone wrong with my face and my sinuses. I've got like a ringing in my ears and everything like, it's not good, not pretty, not pretty. But I've had the best day, we've had so much fun. Um, yeah, it was so good visiting Anna because she obviously lives in Brighton and we, um, she, she's always here visiting us. So we all went to Brighton to visit Anna today and it was lovely, we had a gorgeous lunch. We went on some rides, well, Anna and Lily held our bags while me and Lizzie went on some rides. Uh, we went in the arcade, we went to the pier, we went to some cool shops, it was just so lovely. Um, and it was, so, oh, it was gorgeous, like such a gorgeous day. We come back to London and it's flipping boiling, it's like 17 degrees outside and we were like, whew. I just come back, put my comfies on, I wait for James. I burnt my um, neck again on the curling tongs and now I've literally broken out so badly I've just messed with that one which is oh it's such a mess um so I'm gonna take all my makeup off and put a face mask on and just try and like get over all this and take some paracetamol on and lots of tissues because it's like a tap which I'm sure you wanted to know anyway I'm gonna go now um and I'll catch up with you tomorrow I reckon um me and James is having a proper chill day oh shit but ballet for 11 o'clock in the morning. Let's see how we feel. I really want to go, but I don't know if I'm going to go. Not if my snot's pouring from my nose when I'm upside down or trying to like do ballet. That's not good luck, is it? I'll just go with like some tissue stuck in my nostrils. Good morning, everyone. Um, it's Saturday today. Um, <coughs> I hope you're all all right and you're having a nice day so far. Um, Feeling a bit better today. Not much, but a bit better. Just feel well sickly. It's probably from the volume of snot, but what are you gonna do about it? Um, so me and James are going out. 
spotty as well. Um, me and James are going to this place called, I think it's called Ahi Pokey or Ahi Poke. It's basically the Pokey Bowls. So it's like raw different bits of fish, like sashimi with lots of goodness. So we're going to go there and have that. Um, and maybe a wine will help me. It probably won't, but I'm definitely going to have one anyway. Uh, so yes, yeah, so that's all we're going to do today is properly chill. Um, I just I want to do that, get some fresh air for a couple of hours and come back and just relax. Because I think my body's like, whoa, 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 slow down. <laughs> so I'll just have a little think about work and stuff for next week. I think later on, just we're going to get M&S down in for two because we love that. So we'll do that. But yeah, properly chill today. Like, not much to report. I'll take you along later because it should be really nice where we're going for this uh, food. Um, but yeah, I'll show you what I'm wearing. Um, so this jumper is like a really cool cashmere mix wool jumper. So it's cropped, but I've got it like tucked in. And I love the, just love the colour of blue of it. It's by Genevieve Sweeney. She's a British um, knitwear designer, so I'll link her for you. Then I've got these really super cool high-waisted like wide leg trousers on that remind me of the 80s. They're from H&M, they're linen. Um, and then just my old um, snaky Stella McCartney loafers on with lots of jewellery. So, oh, actually, I need to show you what's it called. So these hoops here, let me see if I can zoom in. I'm sorry about my spots. Those little hoops there with the three th uh, things on are really sweet. I really like those. Um, so a brand called... Anya High, I think it is pronounced. You know what I'm like. Um, beautiful gold mail over sterling silver, and I just think they're so pretty. Really affordable as well, so I'll link those for you. Uh, but yeah, I'll show you. <laughs> this is my outfit. So we've got blue jumper, super high waist trousers that are like long and wide, like baggy, fit really nicely, and like suck you right in there. Big pockets, and then just like a loafer, any loafer really. I think these are out of stock, but I'll link some others that might look quite nice. But I think it's just quite a nice, casual, comfy look, but quite like smart as well. Hello you lot, um, I hope you're all alright, it's Sunday today, so I'm just um, <coughs> recovering from a cold, that was a cough just for the sympathy vote there, thank you very much, um, I'm just getting ready, just like really taking my time this month, it's been so nice, James went to play golf, so I did a couple of hours work, got waylaid watching Anna and Lily's videos as usual, which were good, um, such good use of time. <laughs> and um, I am just going to unpack something quite exciting. So there's a French brand called Claudie Piello and they have asked me to come in store next week you'll miss this but it's like a limited little capacity thing anyway but if you follow me on Instagram you'll have seen it um it's basically an in-store event and I'm going in to host it and I'm like a bit frightened but also really excited so it's to launch the new Ilde Ray um collection they've done a collaboration with Vija Trainers which is this amazing orga um, organic leather sustainable vegan insane trainer brand um, and it's really cool and colourful. You know what I'm like, I don't wear that much colour, but I like a pop of colour, so it's worked really well for me. Um, so everything got delivered, and so I've just got to shoot it um, to like put my invite up on, in on Instagram and everything. So I just thought I'd show you what I chose. So first, I've got the um, just a branded t-shirt, which I thought was really cool. It's like linen based, so it's like a really nice thick t-shirt, and I really love the fit of it and the cut of it. It's like... Um, it's quite boxy as well, so I love that. Obviously, slogan teachings are my vibe. So we've got a couple of options here. So I've gone with one colourful thing, and the rest is a suit, because I was like, how brave am I going to be here? I hope you all like my dressing gown as well, by the way. <laughs> my favourite thing ever. I will never throw it away. Okay, so next is this skirt. So it's little A-line mini skirt, high-waisted as well. So I thought that would look really cool with this T-shirt tucked in. Um, and it does look good. Like, I really do like the way that that looks. So we'll see how I feel about that. And then on top, kind of tucking it up, and I'll probably just stick some Converse on. 
Sorry, you can't even hear me. Converse on with that. That oh, was lost it. Where is it? Here. So. it up this insane leather jacket so it's like completely smooth leather cropped and it's just got um stud detail around the collar and stud detail around the arms and it, oh it's oh it's so good really good so i thought that would be great with t-shirt skirt pop this on open underneath over the top and sit some converse on so that's option one option two is the same t-shirt with some high-waisted paper bag um, pinstripe trousers and they've got like this cool belt on as well so they're really high-waisted the t-shirt tucks them really well and these are tailored as well so they, they're long enough for me and they kind of um, taper down um, there's a jacket to match which is really cool like it's really but I love the lapel on this it's really boxy um, so that's really flattering so yes it's either suit with the t-shirt or um green skirt leather jacket with a t-shirt i've not decided yet but james is going to help me shoot it in a bit so i'm not i'm not sure i love both but i don't know which one i'm going to wear on the night i don't know which one to put on instagram yet i mean first of all problems but i'm not i'm not fully decided the weather's awful so it's hilarious if i'm going to be knocking about in a green mini skirt isn't it so i think i might shoot the suit today and see how I feel on the night. And if it's a lovely day for the event, I can wear the, the skirt. But I'll link all the bits um, that I've showed you anyway, in case you like them. Um, and I hope you're all having a nice day. <laughs> Welcome to the great British summer. <laughs> how are you feeling, James? Wet. Ah. So we're just going now to meet our friends Kim and Simon. Kim I've talked about a bit on here before and you've seen her actually, you've met her. Uh, she has a blog called Love Cloth and she's amazing. Um, and we love them, don't we? Love, love, love them. So we're going to go and have a big roast dinner. <laughs> a big roast dinner. Walk around Notting Hill. Um, but it's like not like cold, is it? But it's just peeing it down. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Lindsay the weather lady. <laughs> State in the obvious. <laughs> Shut it. Yes. Oh, here we go. <laughs> no, you can eat. <laughs> Hello, everyone. So it's Sunday, and we've just got back from having a gorgeous roast with our friends Kim and Simon, who we love. And um, the football is already on. We've been in the house about three minutes, so that's what I've got to look forward to this afternoon. It's about <coughs> five o'clock. So I'll let him watch football for a bit. And then he's gonna make me a banana cake. All right. Yeah. He'll be singing. <laughs> what? what Just saying uh, bye to my vlog. <laughs> Um, so I've just put my comfies on and I'm just gonna chill out now like properly chill out and just have a nice evening oh god I need to put those clothes away anywho thank you so much for watching this week um, and I'll catch you in my next one and have a good week ahead bye